there exists some Pokemon that come in a variety of colors. Species like Flabebe, Squawkabilly, Tatsugiri, and even Minior, although those hide their true colors. How do their different forms affect breeding? What colors will their children be? Fortunately, color forms are very simple when it comes to breeding. When breeding with the same species, the mother's color is passed down. If breeding with a different species, the mother's color is still passed down. If your Pokemon is a male or genderless, they will need to breed with a ditto. Any offspring from these pairings will be of the non-ditto parent's color. Easy peasy, right? Also note that unlike regional forms, Everstones do not impact color breeding. The offspring will always be of either the mother's color or non-ditto Pokemon's color. In general, whatever colored form a Pokemon has cannot be changed later. Here's a small montage of all the color variants available in Scarlet and Violet under these rules. few color variants that are a slight bit more complex. Oracorio is an exception to the color change rule as it can be turned into other forms through the use of nectar. All the other color rules still apply. Deerling has seasonal forms that also follow the color rules when bred. However, like Oracorio, you can change its form later. If you have a deerling or sawsbuck in your party, you can go to a different province, save your game, and reload your save to change its form. Where to go and what form are on screen now. The different breeds of Paldean Tauros are both a regional form and a color form. They also are a species that is 100% male, requiring them to be bred with ditto. When bred in Paldea, the child Tauros will be of whichever breed the parent is either Combat, Blaze, or Aqua. When bred in Kitakami or Blueberry Academy, the child Tauros will be Cantonian, as these locations are not in the Paldea region. If you wish to breed Combat, Blaze, or Aqua breed Tauros in these locations, you'll need to give an Everstone to the parent to maintain its form. Another color variant Pokemon is Toxtricity which, while not directly breedable, you can influence its form through breeding. Toxel evolves into either the amped form or low-key form of Toxtricity based upon its nature. When breeding, a parent's nature can be given to a child Pokemon by having that parent hold an Everstone. So if I breed this Adamant Toxel while it holds an Everstone, all the offspring will also have the Adamant nature making each of them evolve into the amped form. I can do the same thing with a modest nature toxel to get low-key children. Do note that mints will not change the form toxel evolves into. Its original nature is used both for breeding and evolving. If you would like more details on how Everstones work, check out this video also on my channel. Otherwise, that was everything for breeding color variants available in Scarlet and Violet. Well, except one, but those will be handled in a different video. Thanks for watching! I hope you have a lovely day!